Hi, I'm Emily Taytek from the Wilton Test Kitchen, and today I'm here to show you how to make a multiple loop fondant bow with Wilton's new edible fondant ribbon. Let's begin by assembling all the different components you'll need to make your bow. First, we need to make some thinned out fondant adhesive, which will act as our glue. This adhesive is very easy to make by mixing a small amount of the fondant ribbon with a few drops of water in a microwave safe bowl. Microwave the mixture at 50% power for 5 to 10 seconds. The fondant will dissolve in the water and create a brushable, edible adhesive with a similar consistency of Elmer's glue. Next, you'll want to cut out two small discs out of the fondant ribbon. These will act as the base for each layer of your bow. So you're going to take a small amount of the fondant ribbon and roll it to about an eighth of an inch thickness, just like this. I'm going to take my, one, my two inch cutters and my one and a half inch cutters and just cut circles out of the thin fondant ribbon. These we'll just place to the side and let them dry completely. Now you'll want to create the loops for your bow. Unroll the fondant ribbon and cut 12 to 14 6 inch strips. The number and size of your strips will be dependent on your bow size. Using a brush, brush a small amount of adhesive on both edges of the fondant ribbon. Attach the two ends together by gently folding the ribbon over and pinching firmly to create a strong bond. Roll a small amount of paper towel into a tube and slide it into the loop. This helps support the loop while it dries. Stand the loop on its side and place it on a cake board. Repeat this process with the remaining fondant strips. The fondant loops will have to dry for a minimum of eight hours, so it's best to do them the night before. Once the loops and discs are completely dry, you're ready to start building your bow. Place the large fondant disc on a cake board. Position six to seven loops in a circle to form the base of the bow. For the best fit, trim the edges of your loops so that they can fit together as close as possible. Attach each loop to the base with a small amount of fondant adhesive. Continue building the bow, filling in the center with the rest of the fondant loops, adhering each loop with a small amount of fondant adhesive. Once all your loops are in place, let your bow dry for a minimum of eight hours. Once the bow is completely dry, it is ready to be placed on top of your cake. Looking to create a bow with a different width or color? Try using the Decorator Preferred Fondant from Wilton. Just follow the same steps and you're ready to go. For more tips, techniques, and inspiration, visit Wilton.com.